wherever you may be listening from or tuning in from. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be listening from or tuning in from or watching us from. This is your 10 minute plugin from MBN and we are broadcasting today from Nairobi, Kenya. I'm your host for today, Abazida Joyce Murigi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be listening from or tuning from or watching us from. This is your 10 minute plugin from MBN and we are broadcasting live from Nairobi, Kenya. Today is going to be an interaction. We are in the season where we have been fed. Hi, 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 Queen Victoria. Hola, hola, how is Spain? Thank you for joining. Thank you for representing Spain. Today, I would like us to interact. Haribu sana, I, this is welcome. <laughs> it's Kiswahili uh, word for welcome. So karibu, karibu. And I was just saying that today I would want us to interact because we are in the season where we have been fed. You know, the people, us who belong to the kingdom of God, we like to be fed all the time. And this is one season where everywhere you turned, people were talking about either Good Friday or uh, Resurrection Sunday because it, there are those two days that mark the season. Many uh, kingdom ambassadors like uh, or rather talk about the, uh, the Good Friday or Resurrection Sunday because our faith is based on these two days. That is how we gained salvation. This is how we we, we, we got um, reconciled back to God. We, uh, our faith is based on the death on the cross that gained us back to God and resurrection uh, Sunday, which gives us uh, hope and which uh, gives us life. So without further ado, I would like us to interact. Let me know what your takeaway for Good Friday was. I will start with Good Friday because it's the day that I uh, came before the Resurrection Sunday. Without Good Friday, there couldn't be Resurrection Sunday. So I would want us to interact and let me know on the comment se uh, session, or uh, so sorry, section, where what you learned or what your takeaway is for Good Friday. I would also want to be fed by you as I also share what my takeaway is. Uh, so what is Good Friday? or what is or why the, uh, the cross? Why did Jesus uh, get crucified? Why do we have Good Friday at all? Good Friday came so that we could be reconciled back to God after man sinned on the Garden of Eden. It had to happen because when Adam sinned, you know, when uh, Satan, the deceitful one, uh, approached Eve and deceived her, she conven convinced the husband, uh, Adam, to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And God had said, had given them everything on that garden and told them not to eat from that tree because God created man without sin. And if man ate from that tree, then he was going to get into sin or he was going to find, I mean, to get, to get, uh, to find sin. And of course he was going to be uh, sinful and then he was going to face death, isolation from God. But when God was creating man to come to the, I mean, to, was creating uh, this world and then created or put man on this world, he wanted man to represent God on this earth. So he had this grand idea or grand ideas about man. 
He wanted man to rule the earth the way heaven is ruled. He wanted man to establish the kingdom of God. You know, when you think about uh, the kingdom of God, which is heaven, God wanted man to establish the kingdom of heaven on earth. And also God wanted to fill this earth or the world with his glory. When we think about heaven, uh, every other time we say that, uh, you know, when we go to heaven, there will be no crying. There will be no poverty. There, everything good, you know, it's a kingdom of truth. It's a kingdom of plenty. It is a kingdom of everything good. And this is what we lost when we sinned or the fall of man on the Garden of Eden. And I'm giving that background so that we can see then why the cross and Good Friday was necessary. So when man sinned, we lost the culture of heaven. We lost the government of heaven because obviously sin stained us and there is no way the government of heaven, uh, which is represented on earth by the Holy Spirit, would dwell in us. So we lost the government of heaven. We also lost heaven itself. And we lost the resources of heaven. Like I said, plenty, truth, everything that is good. We also lost access to heaven. And what followed? What followed were the fruits of sin. And the fruits of sin are scarcity, corruption, sexual immorality, hatred, just to mention a few, jealousy, fighting, and all the social ills you find in the world. But then God so loved the world, and he still does. He loved man. So the fall of man was brought by man, and God had to use man to bring back man to God and to bring him back to his in intentions or to his purpose. So God had to sacrifice himself and, be, and come to, the, to earth in form of a man. And so Jesus Christ was born. Jesus Christ was God on earth. So the fall of man was brought about man and being reconciled back to God, God was going to use man. So when God sacrificed himself and he came down to earth, he went through everything that a man goes through. He tasted life. He knew all the tribulations a man faces. And, you know, even at the point where he was being crucified, he had to take all the sin, all the iniquities of man, all the diseases, all those social ills, the corruption, the fighting. He had to take all that to the cross to be hanged, I mean, to, to, to be crucified with him. So, Jesus Christ was used or the cross was necessary to redeem man or to reconcile man back to God. And he had to become seen, he who had no sin. Even a pilot, you know, when he went before Pilate, he could not find any fault with Jesus Christ. And everything that happened, even when he went to the cross, he, he took everything that paints us. He took everything that affects us, that makes this an imperfect world. So that we could actually be freed from everything that torments us, everything that, 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 that uh, I mean, uh, sin causes, so that we could uh, get to gain the freedom and get to, 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 to go back to God. Remember the wages uh, of sin is death. And death by, I mean, by death here, we mean isolation. Even Jesus Christ went, this through, I went through this isolation. At the point where he was dying and he was asking God, why, why have you forsaken me? He tasted this isolation. So there was isolation on the Garden of Eden. And there was isolation at the cross. It is like a full cycle. And... Another thing I might take away, um, another, uh, my other takeaway from the cross or from Good Friday is that I see 
the fruits of the Holy Spirit being exhibited by Jesus. You know, the Holy Spirit was upon him because he was God on earth. And I see this as the, the, the fruits of the Holy Spirit because it was because of love that he got crucified. He submitted to God. He, he was faithful even unto death. He persevered when he was being ridiculed, when he was being persecuted, he persevered. This, was, this is also endurance. He had, you know, um, the ultimate self-control. When people were talking to him and when he even went through trial, he held himself together. At times he did not even speak. He showed humility to God and even to man. He submitted to man and submitted to God himself. He showed his kindness. When he, he told the, you know, the, 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 um, the guy who was crucified next to him, the criminal, the, the criminal realized that he, this was God. And he asked him to remember him when he goes to his kingdom. And Jesus Christ said, that, yes, today you'll be with me in paradise. So he showed kindness. And he also showed gentleness when he said that God forgive them for they not for they uh, know not what they are doing. So Jesus Christ died so that we could be restored. Jesus Christ died so that the government of heaven could again come to earth. The culture of heaven could be reestablished on earth. The kingdom culture, the kingdom language, you know, the kingdom uh, resources, the kingdom government through the governor himself. So Good Friday is there for Jesus dealing with the source and power of death. And death in this case is isolation. It is not the decay or, you know, the physical death. It's isolation from God because man had been cast to eternal death eternal isolation. But with the coming, I mean, with, with the crucifixion or the death of Jesus Christ, then man was reconciled back to God. And he is going to have life, eternal life with God. So Good Friday is therefore important. It was important because we see, I mean, we, we, I, I said there before that there couldn't have been a resurrection Sunday without Good Friday. And I want us to think about the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on the Calvary, that was shed on the cross. The same blood of, of the, the same blood that when they held the Last Supper, he told them he he told them uh, to be partaking of that blood in remembrance of him. The same blood that um, a songwriter and um, a hymn singer say a sang and said that this blood washes whiter than snow. The same blood is still there and is very strong even today. And in this season, it is there and it is strong. It is the blood that washes us whiter than snow. And I would urge everybody who is listening or who will even tune in afterwards to take this blood that washes whiter than snow so that we can get washed by the blood. We can get uh, reconciled back to God by this blood. And I just hope that my takeaways were, you know, a blessing, were nourishing, because I have been nourished. So I, today I decided to talk about Good Friday and the cross. And tomorrow we are going to get more takeaways about the Resurrection Sunday and why the Resurrection Sunday. God bless you. I will see you at the top where the eagles fly and up to tomorrow or until tomorrow, it has been yours, Joyce Murigi, telling you that I love you with the love of Christ, but I must leave you. I will see you at the top where the eagles are. And for now, God's blessings. Bye-bye. Stay tuned to MBN. Thank you.